Cherry magic, 30 years of virginity, can make you a wizard, it's a boy's love anime, about a man with a very interesting ability. Kiyoshi Adachi, can read people's thoughts, when he touches them. And he believes, that this magic power, is due to his virginity, and his lack of romantic relationships until the age of 30. However, things seem to be changing in Adachi's life. One day, when Adachi goes to work, he runs into his co-worker, Yuichi Kurosawa. And Adachi hears his thoughts, about a person, that he likes. And this mysterious person, that Kurosawa is in love with, is actually Adachi. And this whole situation, shocks Adachi, and he can't understand how someone as cool, as Kurosawa, could like him. But still, it is what it is, and the two begin to get more closer every day, and start their little love story. Cherry Magic, it's a classic and funny BL, and currently it has five episodes, but it's ongoing, and probably more episodes will follow. The manga is also cute, and worth reading. My new boss is Goofy, follows the life of Momose, a man who had a very horrible job in the past, with a bad boss, who mentally abused him, for a long time. And Momose decided to make a change, and try a fresh start, in an advertising agency. There, he is assigned a new boss, Shirasaki, who at first, seems a very serious person, without too many facial expressions, or at least, that's how Momose perceives him. But shortly after the two start working together, Momose discovers, that the new boss is actually a really caring man. Very nice and clumsy, which is one of his prettiest characteristics, that makes Momose like him very much. And also in this anime, we have another pair, of new employee, and boss, who behave as nice as the other two. This is not an official boy's love, but you need to be blind to not see how this character behave. Their story is funny and interesting, and I suggest you to watch the 12 episodes and also read the manga. I think most people already heard about Heaven's official blessing, and the beautiful love story between, Shi Lian, and Hua Cheng. In the first season, Hua Cheng, was disguised as a young man named San Lang, and together with Shi Lian, they had some unforgettable adventures. And at the end of last year, we were struck by, the lovely season 2, which I want to talk about. Hua Cheng, appears in his beautiful ghost king form, Shi Lian, visits him, and sets his house, and heart on fire. Then Shi Lian, has some other troubles in heaven, and he gets arrested, and Hua Cheng comes and saves him, and many other adventures will happen. I think that in this season, the two get much more closer, and get to know each other much better. There are many scenes from Shi Lian's past, and other scenes of Hua Cheng, losing his temper trying to defend Shi Lian. Overall, the season is really worth watching, even if I think that it deserved to be a bit longer, but let's hope that season 3 will come sooner. On My Oji Anime, is more about a friendship story, rather than a love one, between the half-spirit fox, named Seimei, and the emperor's grandson, Hiromasa. The two men will work together a few times, to solve some paranormal situations. Anmai Oji is not specifically a boy's love anime, but the way that these two characters, get closer, from the fact that they couldn't stand each other at the beginning. And how they manage to collaborate along the way, and the sacrifices they make for each other, is interesting to analyze and see their feelings evolving. Plus, every episode has an engaging story, and worth watching. Castlevania Nocturne, is also not a boy's love animation, but has two men there, with an interesting story. Alrox, is an old vampire, and Mizrak, a warrior monk, who's supposed to fight with the vampires, and other supernatural evil creatures. Their love story is a bit complicated, and I made a whole video about it, which can be found on this channel. And as I said, Castlevania Nocturne, is not a BL animation, but I was happy when I saw that they put a little diversity in the show, and I hope that in the second season, their story will develop more. These are some new animations that I thought people haven't seen yet, but I also have a list of some older ones, that I think are worth watching. Mignon, 
is a Korean animation about a boy with a hard life who earns his living fighting in arena and a vampire doctor who works there. It's a short but interesting animation. Sasaki and Miyano follows the love story of two young boys that are in high school and they experience pure love for the first time. And after the first season of this anime, a movie was also released where we find out how Sasaki's relationship evolves after he finishes the high school. And similar with Sasaki and Miyano is this BL movie named Dukusei about two teenagers that are trying to figure it out what they will do with their relationship in the future. Spirit Pact, it's not an official boys love anime, but the chemistry between the main characters is too strong to be just a simple friendship. If you want to laugh, then I suggest this BL, Dakari Tai, Otokeo, with the story of two young actors who fall in love and besides the first season of this series. There is also a nice movie about their adventure in Spain. Also funny and classic is Sekaiichi, Hatsukoi, or Junju Romantica, which take place in the same universe, with a office atmosphere, and with slightly different but funny stories. Something similar to Heaven Official's Blessing, is Grandmaster of Demonic Cultivation, Thousand Autumns or Scumbag Systems. If you feel sad and want a reason to cry, I suggest you to watch Hybrid Child, Given, or I Know Kusabi, both the 1992 movies and the four episodes from 2012. The story is a bit controversial, but compared to the narrative thread we find in manga or manhwa these days, I think I know Kusabi is not that bad. Other classic yaoi animes that I've talked about on this channel are Embracing Love, the story of two men with interesting professions in a slightly controversial industry. Or Kazuna, Finder, Tyrant Falls in Love, Kirapapa, and many others. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe for similar content.